Candice Owens, who's now left Daily Wire. Um, was she fired or did she leave of her own volition? I'm not going to speak to this topic, Pierce. At, at all? At all. You can't give me any uh, insight into why she departed? No hints, no nothing. I'm not going to speak to this. Can, can, I ask, can I ask why? I mean, you can ask. No, no, I'm not you can ask why you don't want to say anything. Um, again, you can ask. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> 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 What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and uh, it's a weird week for a uh, very super huge mega corporate uh, commentators in the conservative space. Obviously, everything going on with Steven Crowder, which basically amounts to uh, divorce drama and people getting their way, putting their way. It's a huge mess. Um, and also now everything at The Daily Wire where they unceremoniously fired, we now know, Candace Owens due to, uh, well, her opinions on uh, of certain conflict thousands of miles away. I think that's pretty clear now, given Jeremy Boring, the CEO of Daily Wire, participating in a Twitter space, and not once but twice mentioning that he specifically did fire Candace Owens. Now, whatever the case may be, if you actually look at the time frame, this was brought up to me by a viewer yesterday during one of my live streams. By the way, I'm live every day, 5.30 Eastern, either on Rumble, which is where I prefer you watch, or one of my other live stream channels. If you want to stick on YouTube, for example, Quartercast, it's linked in the description below, uh, that Candace Owens basically started posting for the Daily Wire just about three years, almost to the date of her termination, which could imply that she had a three-year contract, for example, um, but we don't know for sure. Well, Ben Shapiro went on Piers Morgan last night, and Piers Morgan pressed him on The Daily Wire's commitment to free speech, The Daily Wire's decisions around Candace Owens, and Ben Shapiro had some interesting re replies on top of the fact, on top of Ben Shapiro also donating money to uh, Stephen Crowder's employee, Jared Monroe. What a mess. There's so much going on in the news. That's why like, I try not to just cover this stuff. I cover all the stuff going on in gaming and everything. So if you're enjoying the channel and you don't like drama, you, there's always something else for you. Five videos a day, four to five. Now, uh, in, in the spirit of love, by the way, in the spirit of love today, I'm launching a 15% off sale site-wide. This is what the Daily Wire would want, right? For my company, coffee brand, coffee.com. We are not some drop ship coffee company like, well, all my competitors are. We handle the roasting. We handle, uh, we pick all of our individual roast, exactly how the roast we taste test every little thing to make it 100% uniquely ours. Our top sellers are blueberry cobbler, strawberries and cream, and our new silky dark roast, butterscotch toffee. Add a little cream, a little sugar to our flavored coffee. It'll, it's very, very good. We obviously have our unflavored, the Colombian roast, the Ethiopian light roast, dark roast, decaf, double calf. We have everything you could possibly want. And we 15% off with promo code LOVE. That's right. Promo code LOVE, 15% off. Also, think about joining our Roaster's Choice Club, which is the number one, in my opinion, coffee club on the internet. And it's also 50% off your first month starting, well, you only have until March, the end of March. And you get a personal thank you letter from me signed. Now, Piers Morgan presses Ben Shapiro on Candace Owens' departure from the Daily Wire, but Ben refuses to respond. You see a lot of people, censored man, tweeting Piers Morgan presses. Um, I'm not going to speak on this topic, Piers. A lot of people saying he had so much to say about her when he was talking to his Jewish friends. Uh, I don't. I think they're referring to. Uh, that kind of somebody recorded him calling her comments disgraceful when he was speaking at some sort of event. Um, you know, uh, but now he's nervous when he asked about it publicly. Well, maybe there's some pending litigation. I want to give Ben some level of benefit of the doubt here. There could be some pending litigation. Certainly at some company, the expectation inside my company would be like, hey, you don't go on the news and talk about other people at the company who got fired. 
Ben's a little bit different because he is co-founder of the company. Uh, people in the comments obviously saying it's clear it's because she supported Palestine. I'm not sure if she necessarily supports Palestine uh, so much as she's not a fan of, you know, sending billions of dollars to Israel to, you know, have them bomb them or whatever the case may be. Um, but nonetheless, you see Ben Shapiro when it's time to stand up for his colleagues. I'm not going to speak on this topic. Everyone knows she was fired because she refused to bow down. So, you know, people in the, you know, a lot of these people, they claim to have principles, but they, in the end, they're a bunch of liars. It says, I'm currently on leave uh, with my executive duties. In my current approach, I cannot fire Candace Owens. This is what they both said. This is what they both said. Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring both said that, oh, well, you know, I couldn't possibly fire Candace Owens. I don't have that power, even though they are, uh, you know, co-founders of the company or CEO. One of the consequences of this war has been a lot of very high passions on both sides, a lot of angry disagreements. Fair. You and your company have been at the centre of a very uh, high-profile one at the moment with Candace Owens, who's now left Daily Wire. Um, was she fired or did she leave of her own volition? I'm not going to speak to this topic, Pierce. At, at all? At all. You can't give me any uh, insight into why she departed? No hints, no nothing. I'm not going to speak to this. C can, I ask, can I ask why? I mean, you can ask. No, no, I'm not, you can ask why you don't want to say anything. Um, again, you can ask. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I again, I don't want to say anything. I don't, you know, I'm not going to talk about it. I get it. I get that. First of all, you know, he probably doesn't want to give Candace any kind of like legal fodder to say that he's going on, you know, Piers Morgan show and disparaging her. You know, so again, I want to be like somewhat, you know, have some level of good faith. I'm only curious because I know what a, a staunch defender of free speech you are. And it would surprise me if He's it calling had been me hypocrite. someone's opinions that would make you want to part company with them. However, I mean, suffice it to say, the only thing I will say is what I've said all along with regard to Candace or with regard to any of our other hosts. I am not in hiring and firing position with the Daily Wire. I'm a co- this is such a floppy vag reply, okay? Ben Shapiro and Jeremy Boring have both claimed that even though they're co-founder and CEO, they couldn't possibly have fired anyone. Give me an absolute break. If Ben Shapiro wants you gone from the Daily, uh, the Daily Wire, you're gone. If Jeremy Boring wants you gone from the Daily Wire, you're gone. Do they think everyone's a complete moron? I mean, just own it. Why go the extra step? Why go the extra step, uh, you know, to pretend like you don't actually have any power inside your own company that you co-founded? Co-founder of The Daily Wire. I'm a co-owner of The Daily Wire. I'm not actually in management. Jeremy Boring and Caleb Robinson are in management positions with regard to Candace or anyone else. Wait, I thought Jeremy Boring said that he's not in the position to hire and fire. That's what he said. Now, Ben Shapiro said he is in the position to hire and fire. Well, so who does the hiring and firing it at, at the Daily Wire? And as far as the free speech situation, what I will say is that no company has the obligation to literally pay anyone. The, the Daily Wire is a, is a publisher. It is not a platform. Oh, so Daily Wire is going with the, they're a free, they're a private company. They can do what they want. I heard a lot of leftists saying that uh, pro censorship people. Didn't a lot of pro-censorship uh, people say that about Google censoring various things? You know, they're a private company. They can do whatever they want. I've never called for Candace or anyone else, for that matter, to be banned from YouTube, to be banned from X, to be banned from any platform. That's, That's a true. different story, obviously, when it comes to any publisher. Any publisher gets to make decisions about what it wishes to, uh, what it wishes to purvey and not. I mean, it's, I'm just not going to labour this, but one more point I would make is it's been reported extensively that the reason for her departure was because uh, her comments had been perceived by people at the Daily Wire as anti-Semitic. Uh-huh. Obviously. Again, I'm, I'm not going to comment on this, Pierce. Okay. I'm not going to? He didn't say I can't. He said I'm not going to. Um, obviously, it was pretty funny, too, that Ben Shapiro... 
did donate five hundred dollars to Stephen Crowder's um, legal uh, Stephen Crowder Jared Monroe's legal defense fund. I don't. <laughs> I mean, obviously, there's some bad blood there. I I think. I guess five hundred dollars is a meme for some people. Uh, I said it's not him, and then Ben did reply to me and say, "Actually, I did give that five hundred dollars." So <laughs> he did um, give Jared Monroe five hundred dollars. There's something going on, you know. People are people are. I don't know if people really see it or or like how they're reacting. Um, but it seems like there's definitely a pushback here to Ben. I was noticing this yesterday. You look at his channel. He has just under 7 million subscribers. 6.85 million subscribers. And he routinely has videos that get 20,000 views. Now, if if it's part of you know, segments of his longer show, you can understand, hey, people watched the full show, you know, so they didn't need to rewatch this segment about Diddy or this segment about this individual. But I'm wondering, again, here, the, the consequences of Biden's presidency, this seems like a pretty important video, 40,000 views. Here's one, the horrors of Nickelodeon did pretty good, 200,000 views, 70,000. Where are all his viewers? Like he has 7 million subscribers. Did everybody leave or does everyone watch on different, you know, platforms? People saying this, Ben Shapiro refuses to answer. This person saying, look at the smug grin on Shapiro's face. Jeremy Boring admitted that Kenneth Owens was fired last night. He then went on to admit that he wouldn't hire somebody who criticizes what Israel's doing in Gaza. Total coincidence that she criticized Israel and got fired though. People see through this now. Is, is Ben Shapiro losing his... Now, maybe everybody just watches his videos on thedailywire.com. That's 100% possible. And it's not like he doesn't have big videos. I mean, 400,000 for this one, 500,000 for that one. So it's not like he doesn't have popular videos. He certainly does. But this is pre... You know, this is before all the drama. It seems like his YouTube channel is dying. Um, again, maybe people are watching it on dailywear.com or through the app or whatever the case, but it's probably not awesome, um, you know, to continue to belabor this. I don't know. You know, I guess he probably already had that agreement probably with Piers Morgan's show, but yeah, probably not, uh, the best appearance. We'll have to wait and see how this all shakes up for daily wire. But what I can say as I hope to see you tonight live at 5.30 Eastern over on rumble.com slash C slash the quartering, or just go to the quartering.com. It'll take you to my Rumble page. If you absolutely refuse to watch on Rumble, you can watch on Quartercast, which is also linked. It's more important for me that you join in and you watch than necessarily where you watch. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like on it, and we'll talk to you again real soon.